before we get started, let's check out the links in my description. We all want nice things. We want the car, we want a house, we want a high limit credit card. But if you don't have at least a 680 credit score, you're not even in the game. So click this link here to know where you stand and get your free credit scores from all three bureaus. That will be Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And also get your reports. If you would like to be free and become financially independent through entrepreneurship, click this link here to be free. If you'd like to get cash back, which is a discount during shopping, please click this link here to see my favorite cash back sites. And if you enjoy the music you hear in the background, please click the link here and subscribe to It's OAC. Hello everyone, welcome back to Community Wealth. Today we're not gonna necessarily get into the loan forgiveness. We're just going to get into an update on what's going on with someone I know and their forgiven PPP loan and why they're getting investigated or getting grilled about you know their income and things like that. But first, like to know where you stand in your credit, like your reports and your scores, your FICO scores, click the credit monitoring link in the description below and that way you can get all three reports and scores from all three bureaus TransUnion, Equifax and Experian. So like to make $500 to $1,000 per week on your own time use, utilizing your own vehicle click the wealth dasher link in the description below. And if you don't want to use your vehicle or you don't have a vehicle you can click the wealth higher car link in the description below and that way you can use the higher car to wealth dash you want to know how I got five properties for five thousand five hundred dollars click the be free link in the description below and if you like to get cash back especially this holiday season during the shopping season click the cash back link in the description below All right now let's get to it I did a couple of videos about people being forgiven for loans and here's an example right here this person was forgiven early October you see it says right here SBA PPP direct forgiveness portal so people are being forgiven that I know I still haven't done mine yet I'm still waiting to see what's going on with this Biden plan they got going on but here's the thing someone was forgiven not this person here but someone was forgiven for a loan and what happened was once their loan was forgiven they got a letter from not the IRS but from the Department of Justice DOJ they got a letter from them explaining hey they wanted to get more information about their income and I couldn't figure out why they're worried about her information if they forgave her PPP loan I couldn't just figure it out no, she couldn't figure it out she was upset okay wow man I, I did everything I was supposed to do they forgave the loan I had a business and I said I believe somebody else had done her loan but here's the thing I don't even think of the fact that somebody else done her loan it could be but here it is they're on several government assistance programs all right uh, I believe they're getting SSI for the kid I believe they're getting but again I believe I believe they're getting SSI I know they're getting child support uh, they were on unemployment getting food stamps and things like that and also they were on section 8 I should say they are on section 8 so they're getting so they on section 8 getting SSI uh, child support food assistance and um, I believe it, and, and they're on section 8 so here it is if you're getting these government assistance if you're on if you're on government assistance programs 
it's a need for it. That's what you're telling the government it's a need for it. So they're approving you for these programs. But then you turn around and say, hey, I'm making $50,000. To them, now they're saying, hey, you don't, you don't need this. And here it is. They didn't use their, they didn't have an EIN number or LLC or S Corp or anything like that. They were using their social security number. They weren't even a sole proprietor. They didn't even register that. It's just that they were using their social security number doing their gig work. Now, I'm not sure how much they made doing the gig work. I know they did good. They, they, they were doing pretty well. You know, because we shared information here and there. I know, I know they were doing well in the gig work. But now you're getting unemployment. You got SSI. You're getting child support, food stamps, and you're on Section 8. But now you're saying, oh, by the way, I also make $50,000. That's not going to look right. And they're not going to be happy with that because that's not what it's for. It's for people who really needs it. Now, again, not saying they. Uh, that they don't need the Section 8. Because Section 8 do allow you to have a job while you're on Section 8. You just have to pay more. You know, so that's all it is. You just have to pay more. And they're going to decrease their benefit. But you're saying you got, you're making $50,000. They're going to look at that funny. Remember, that's, that's, that, that's federal stuff. I believe Section 8 is heard, if I'm not mistaken. That's federal stuff. SSI is federal. All right. That's federal. All right. Even if it's state, but we're talking about federal. Now you got federal money and you're getting state money. And you're making $50,000. <laughs> so I think that's where the problem came in it. Now. I could be totally wrong, but I believe I'm right on this one because why else, if you're doing gig work and that's what the PPP was for, right, is for individuals, you know, LLCs and so proud of people, you know, that's what it was for, you know, the other one was big business, but remember they changed it to, um, to gross income. So the gross income was for people like me and people like what she was doing. So that's what it's for. But then you're saying, hey, I need this government assistance. So I think that's where the problem come in. At. You know, that's where it came in. At. But anyway, I just want to update you guys on that because I believe that's what it says. So it's just a warning to you. If that's what you were doing as well, you were getting some type of government assistance. But then you turn around saying you make fifty to a hundred thousand dollars getting seven eight nine ten twenty thousand dollar ppp loans and then getting them forgiven but you're getting government assistance it's gonna it's gonna come back on you it's will it will they're looking at that as fraud now not necessarily looking at it as fraud for the ppp loan now now it's fraud because you're telling the government that you don't need assistance but you're getting assistance So I think that's where the problem come in at. It's not necessarily the PPP loan because you had a business, but now you have this business and you're on government assistance and then you didn't tell the government, hey, I don't need this anymore. So now they're saying, hey, whoa, you're, we're, we're still giving you these benefits. What is $50,000 come from? You didn't tell us that. But that's pretty much what's happening. Again, hope everything works out because, again, you know, maybe, you know, I'm not saying they did it on purpose. I'm not saying people are doing these things on purpose. That's not what I'm saying. Could have been a liable mistake. What I'm saying is you have to be mindful of what you're doing. If you're telling the government, I don't have any money, I need this, or I'm making this amount of money. So you give me this, 
But then you on the other end, you're saying, I don't have any money. I need this. But then you're saying, hey, I have this much money now because I'm making this much money so I can get this extra money from you guys. That's three different stories. And they're going to look at that. Okay. They're going to look at that. And they're going to scrutinize you. They're going to say, hey, you lied to us. You need to pay us back. Or you're going to get some other type of penalty. Don't know what the penalty is, but they will penalize you. So it's going to happen. But I'm hoping everything works out. It's just they just look at it as a misunderstanding. Boom. Okay. You won't. You It's not forgiven now. You just pay us back. I hope that's all it ends up being. That's it. All right. But anyway, hope you got some information out of this video that, that you can use. You know, I'm just letting you know what's going on with that situation. And if you're in the same situation now, you know what to look out for if it haven't happened to you yet. And still, there's nothing going on with the other person yet who just got the PPP loan and they got $20,000 I believe they shouldn't have got and they haven't, you know, started paying it back yet or anything. So, and I know it's, it's time's up by now. You know, they, they even trying to get it forgiven because they can't, they just blew the money. But anyway, that's another story in itself. But thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to It's Away See. Like, comment, share this video. If you would like, to know what's on your credit reports and you'd like to know your scores from all three bureaus TransUnion, Equifax and Experian click the credit monitoring link in the description below if you'd like to make $500 to $1,000 per week utilizing your vehicle on your own time click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below if you don't have a car if you don't want to use your vehicle click the Wealth Hire Car link in the description below that way you can hire a car to go Wealth Dash if you'd like to know how I got Five properties for five thousand five hundred dollars. Click the be free link in the description below. And lastly, it's the holiday season. You're gonna be doing some shopping. You want to get that cash back, so click the cash back link in the description below. All right, everybody. Until next time, let's get this money.